Hi, I'm Splashes, and welcome to episode 44 of Minecraft Maniacs. And today, we are going to continue working on our base over here. So, we finally have all four of these main towers, or actually, I suppose these are actually the auxiliary towers. All four of these auxiliary towers constructed, which is awesome. And I think the base looks super cool with all these giant towers. But we still have quite a lot more work to do. And the next big thing we're going to want to get done eventually is this center tower. So what I'm thinking we're going to do today, though, is actually not work on the center tower, but work on the stuff that will lead towards the center tower, which it means to cover up all of these pieces here, or these bridges that connect the auxiliary towers to the center core, and cover those up. So on this tower, I have these little doohickeys here and I'm not sure if I want to stick these guys on the other corners too or not I'm thinking I will and then I'm thinking I'm going to sort of put a half cylinder over the rest of this stuff here and then once we get to around here I'm gonna sort of have it wrap off so it'll be like a half dome and then in these bits over here oh fly fly oh geez ow my health I have, I have trouble navigating both a keyboard and a mouse at the same time. It can be very confusing, especially since I now reset my, or one of my buttons, my sprint button, to the side of my mouse. And I think everything's on my mouse, and it just completely confuses me. And I don't know why that's messed with my brain so much. So, what my plan is over here, I'm going to hop down onto this tower so I can sort of trace it out with my mouse. So I, you know, it's amazing how much of a difference protection actually makes in terms of not taking damage versus blast protection. Uh, so I think I might have to switch back over to protection. So it'll come down to around here. And then once we start looking at where this stuff starts coming back out, I want it to sort of swoop up and then there'll be like these little platforms on all four sides that you'll be able to land on. And then eventually there'll be like some sort of arched doorway that you can walk in that'll be completely open and then the tower will extend up a little further and then we'll have a big dome on top of that and I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do sort of for the center core uh, originally I was planning to basically make another either another tower like this or some other large sort of square tower with an interesting design to it uh, that would extend all the way to build height but I don't know, that's a lot of building, and I think these auxiliary towers look great on their own, and I don't necessarily want want to obscure them, but I also don't want just another one of these towers in the middle, and it's kind of, it's kind of lame, and we can go ahead and do something sort of different, so I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. Now, I'd also considered about doing something like adding a space elevator to the side, and or to the top instead of the dome and I think I'm gonna go with the I think I'm still gonna go with the dome but then off on one of these sides here maybe over here uh, actually there isn't really anything over here I could just have it in the middle of the ocean where it doesn't really matter if things fall and maybe I can make a little harbor there too uh, or over here like right here go ahead and put a space elevator that would reach up to the sky and I think that'll be a really cool feature that we can add to the space but hopefully we can start really getting working on this base and I think it's going to be super awesome oh no Barry uh, there we go I've now I've now helped uh, we're also gonna tear down these steps because originally this area up here was going to be a big walkway with gardens on top of it and well as you can guess I've decided to go a completely different route instead uh, what we also need to do though is go to down into my sheep farm and we need to reset a lot of these sheep so we can start actually having wool again because Wait, wh why is it? Wait, hold on. Why is the sheep farm on? Okay, that's off. 
what got screwed up? Because they should have water running across them, and th they don't. Oh, jeez. Okay, what's wrong? Um. Okay. I mean, so the power's running over here like it's supposed to, and this should mean that the water should always be on. Um. Okay, that's right. Um. Ah! Looks like some water came down here and broke this, and that is why those guys are currently eating a bunch of... or eating the grass and resetting things. Okay, let me go ahead and get some redstone, then we can go ahead and fix that up real quick. Uh, and then we can go ahead and jump on into a hyperspeed build mode and build up the coverings, or at least, I mean, I suppose really we're only covering about half half the build, because it's only going to come to around here, maybe a little bit further, probably like here when it's all said and done. And that's that's really not actually all that much covering now, is it? But with that, let's jump into hyperspeed build mode and build ourselves up a bunch of covers for these bridges. See you soon. end of hyperspeed build mode and we now have ourselves coverings for these bridges and I think they look pretty nice there I, I guess for some reason in my head I was expecting it to actually cover this whole thing but I decided I only wanted to go to here and I guess I kind of screwed it up in my head a little bit but I think they look pretty nice it's kind of nice having this stuff covered and it's nice being able to like walk through here and like I'm actually enclosed now Enclosed, not enclose. Uh, <laughs> uh, but that means we can actually go ahead and fill all this stuff up with leaves at some point, and we can actually go ahead and have these hallways all finish up, and that's awesome. Of course, there were a couple times that screwed up. Uh, for instance, on this tower, I think it was, I accidentally built the whole thing one layer too low. And instead of having the glass little lumps there that I did for the old fish farms, I decided instead to have this bit of concrete sort of building up, sliding up into the side of the building. And I think that looks pretty nice. I kind of like that. It's not, it's not perfect, but I think we did an okay job there. And I actually really like these patterns going over the top. I think they really incorporate the, the tower more into the hallways and I think that's a really good thing so I think what I want to do is we need to go ahead and this hallway is still dreadfully underfinished by which I mean that there's several places here that I want to sort of stick things I want to make some little farms and I'm thinking we can make ourselves a little mushroom farm and a little um, so we can make a little mushroom farm here, and we can 
probably just have a long strip of netherrack for a little netherrack farm. And I wonder if we can find something that we could stick in this corner here to sort of add a little farm. And look, plus we have this area. And wow, this, this roof looks terrible <laughs> right now. <laughs> like, over here it's fine, and then you just get all the way back to here in this corner. And just like, oh god. As well, we should also try and make this area look a little bit prettier at some point. So, I think how will we work on the inside of here? I'm thinking we make just a little mushroom farm here. Probably just a manual mushroom farm. Not anything particularly fancy. Though, it might be fun to try and figure out how to make a, a tiny automatic mushroom farm. Just use some pistons to push some mycelium blocks back and forth. You know, that, that could actually work pretty okay. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. And then we just need a another timer like over here uh though if we really wanted to no I, I don't see any way i could possibly do that i was wondering if there was some way i could take this power and just run it across the other side and just use that as the clock for the pistons but i think that would be really difficult you know maybe i could actually do that i mean there's nothing under here right it's the wrong thing yeah because it's, it's just empty and hollow in here yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to make ourselves a little mushroom farm right here. And go ahead and uh, push the mushroom blocks back and forth. Or push the mycelium blocks back and forth. And then we can have a little minecart that just sort of runs around and circles underneath it. And just periodically passes over a hopper and just drops the stuff into the chest. And we don't need to make a, a complicated timing system or anything like that. Yeah, we could do that. We're going to need to go get some mycelium, though, because I do not have any mycelium. And my shovel does not have does not have silk touch on it, so that would be kind of anticlimactic if, if we did that. Uh, let me just toss my shovel in here. Uh, okay, that has silk touch. Does not have a lot of hit points on it, though, which isn't great. Uh, of course, my axe has silk touch on it, so that would probably be fine. And I guess let's go find ourselves some mycelium. I'm pretty sure there are some islands pretty far to the east here. Let me grab some more rockets, so we're not going to get very far. Oh. Okay, let me make some more rockets. And then or we're really not going to get very far. But with that, let's jump on over to the mycelium isle and gather ourselves up a couple blocks of mycelium. So we can go ahead and make this cute little mushroom farm. And there we go. We've now found the mycelium island. Looks like someone set up shop here. I wonder whose base this might be. You know, I have... I've been finding so many things flying around today that I had no idea were here. Oh my goodness, look, they have a storage system. They have leaves all over it. I like this. Oh, this is pretty. I, I feel kind of bad about stealing some of their mycelium, but... I mean, I'm only going to be taking, like, 32 blocks, so I'm sure they won't mind too much. I hope. Let me just come down here and take it from some irrelevant place. Unfortunately, it is nighttime, so it's kind of dark a little bit. You make a little mycelium and grass converter or something. Make a little Make a little auto co converter for a farm in that other section. That'd be a cool idea. Something to convert grass into mycelium and stuff. Let me get 40 blocks. Okay, so let's head on back. You know, I probably should have taken it from like this very edge, because then they would never notice that. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, but anyway, let's head on back west and go ahead and build ourselves up this little mycelium farm. Or this little mushroom farm, I mean. I think it'll be super cute! And just like that, we now have ourselves a little babby mushroom farm. And this actually went a lot faster than I was expecting it to. It was really nice, easy, relaxing thing to construct. Like, s such a nice, quick farm. And th these are like the redstone challenges that I really enjoy. Uh, just trying to sort out a simple farm and not spending hours and hours on stuff. 
just just like a nice simple little logic puzzle. So you might notice that this thing does not have any timers on it, and that's because it is actually attached to this timer. So turning off the sugarcane farm will do be the same as turning off the or will turn off the mushroom farm as well, because the clock just has a little uh, inverter here, and that comes down to this. Uh, not a dispenser. What is this thing called? An observer. It goes into an observer, and then those trip trip the observers there and trip the observers there, and the observers on the uh, west side get triggered after the observers on the east side. So the stuff gets pushed this way and then gets pushed back. And this is this is a really really cute little farm. It probably won't generate that much stuff for us and. Honestly, I'm not sure when I'm really going to have to use... Oh, darn it! I just happened to miss getting to see the, the thing actually work, but... There was a mushroom here that got pulled off, so this mine cart swings around back and forth, back and forth like that, and comes by and drops off the loot into here. And we don't really have to worry about a timing system, because it's not like this thing's going to be carrying a lot of stuff. These, This style of farm is very, very slow, and this one is very, very small. Uh, though despite being super small, like, when you're standing next to it, it, it feels like a pretty hefty farm. Uh, but let's just go ahead and enclose this in quickly, and then we will be all done with this farm, and we'll have made a nice more bit of progress as to, uh, this guy over here. do 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 did it, did it. And I just sort of want to, oops, that's the wrong thing. I just sort of want to enclose this guy off a little bit. Uh, and actually, let me put blocks here as well. Just so that way the mushrooms don't go off in places that they're not supposed to be. And that'll make sure that all the drops get picked up by the hopper minecart as it travels underneath. So this should be a, a cute little farm. We'll probably not really generate anything or much of anything for us maybe like a couple mushrooms an hour but it'll at least be useful if uh, I ever have to refill Jojo's killing machine <laughs> or something uh, one more thing to do how about we go ahead and make make ourselves that little nether wart farm that I talked about because that'll be super duper simple of course I have like a shulker of soul sand over here it's just kind of excessive uh, because I was supposed to trade it for a whole bunch of pumpkins but that deal fell apart okay I have 22 deader board I'm sure that'll be enough maybe maybe not I don't care I really don't okay so Let's just do 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 Okay, so that is we put one there, that brings it to twenty. And this gives us a place to put a double chest for the nether fort here. and I suppose if I go out four here, one, two, three, four, and let me just pick up these empty shulker boxes from before. Just like that. And then if I could have some... Do I not have... Okay, I don't have any more white concrete. But that's basically it. That is our nether fort farm. Just, just, a, just a strip of... Just, just a strip of... Uh, the... Whatever it's called. These things. Ooh, I should get some spruce trap doors and put them on the front here. And then it'll look like a little garden. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. Let me go get some of those okay, things. I have myself some uh, trapdoors. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a little thing here. So now it looks like a garden. And you know, I think this is actually really cute. We should make some like some hanging lamps above it. Ooh, like a bunch of end rods. Ooh, I, I think that'd be super cute. Now let me grab my... Uh, uh, these guys here and then I can go ahead and I can stick a nether wart chest here just like oh, oh. 
and I actually want some glass. Let's just put glass above this hole. Alright, like this. Yeah, I think that's good. Can I climb up here? Yeah, just like that. And then eventually this whole area will be filled up with leaves, and I think it will be super gorgeous. But let's just cover up behind here a little bit. And let's go ahead and stick one of those guys there. And yeah, I'm, I'm really liking that idea of the end rods over the top. Maybe with some iron trap doors. Let's, let's see if we can't think of some way that we can sort of decorate this guy to make it look like it's like a hydroponics bay type thing. I think that'll look really cool. Okay, so we've gone ahead and put down some iron trap doors here so they sort of look like lights in a hydroponics bay as well as stuck some end rods here to connect this stuff up and giving ourselves a little bit of connection to the top and I just want to put something here to sort of have this connect up and that is the wrong direction. And now with once these guys shit, is this an adult? Nope, that's not an adult. Okay, I guess I cannot tell when this stuff has actually grown up. This looks like grown up stuff. Yes it is. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and completely fill up our farm here and go ahead and toss the rest of this stuff into this chest. And let's see if we've started to gather up. Yeah, we've already started to gather up a couple, couple of mushrooms here. So with that, Ivan Splashes. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.